Hey, what's going on you sexy, sexy people of the world? Welcome to part 2 of Photoshop 101. Um, if you don't know what Photoshop 101 is, it's uh, basically a series where I explain every tool that there is to know in uh, Photoshop and anything that's uh, basically useful. First of all, I would like to uh, thank you guys for subscribing to me. I actually hit uh, 5,000 subscribers today, which is amazing thank you thank you so much i am glad that you enjoy what i do and as long as you guys want me to do more then i will do more if there's something special you would like me to do to celebrate 5,000 subscribers then just leave a comment in the section below and uh, tell me what do you want me to do and i will consider it i will not <laughs> probably do all the crazy shit that you guys are going to probably uh ask me to do Okay, now let's um, jump into the tutorial. Today we will be covering uh, three tools. And um, first we're going to start with the layers and see how uh, these are important in Photoshop and what they do, etc. Um, then we are going to pass to the move tool and then to the marquee tool. So what can I say about uh, layers? I like to think of them as um, a sandwich. So we have the bread bottom, the meat, the vegetables, the ketchup, the bread top. How do I make a layer? Basically you go here to this little icon here next to this tiny bin and if you click on it it's going to make a new layer and if you double click on the name you can actually rename it to anything you want. This little eye here uh, allows you to hide the layer so let me choose the bread top and if I hide it you can see which layer uh, this consists of. So to delete the layer you can basically just press the delete button on your keyboard and it's going to delete it. The layers also have a few blending modes so uh, if you click here on this uh, tiny bar here you can actually see what blending modes are there in uh, Photoshop. We're going to make a more in-depth tutorial about this uh, a bit later but let me just show you for example if I take the ketchup with my move tool here and put it on top of the vegetables which is the green one thing uh, which is the green thing here, I'm going to put it on, uh, let's see, overlay. As you can see, it just overlays on top of uh, the vegetable layer. And now it sort of reminds me of a kiwi, but uh, yeah. So that's that. Um, what can we do with these layers? Basically, what, what are they useful for? Basically, if you're um, drawing, for example, or you're, uh, you have a line art of uh, a character, let me just make a uh, tiny sketch with my brush tool here. We are going to make a small, small character. Uh, the head. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a pro at this. Check this out. Um, and the hands. Like that. Um, and this is going to be our line art, line art layer. So if I click uh, on the ketchup, for example, right under the layer 1, I can uh, make a new layer under it. And uh, this layer is going to serve as uh, the color layer. So if I choose red, I can actually um, color behind this uh, character. And as you can see, uh, the line the line you can also see it because it's not under this uh, color layer that I just made. If I drag it under by clicking and dragging, as you can see, it disappears behind the uh, red color that I just added. So yeah, that's about that's it about the the layers. Basically, you can just uh, put various things uh, onto them. Oh, let let's uh, pass on to uh, grouping layers. Let me just make these. So we have these uh, three layers, and uh, we don't want to have like a two thousand freaking layers uh, after a big uh, manipulation or something. I can actually hold Control on the keyboard, and if I click these three layers. If I, and I press Control G, it's going to make a tiny group of uh, these layers. It's going to merge them together. And if I click on the arrow next to this tiny folder, I'm going to uh, just unveil these uh, three layers that I have. And it's just so much cleaner now. I don't have to deal with uh, those uh, three layers unless I need them. So I can just click here and then edit whatever. This is great if you're trying to organize your layers. Uh, maybe you can make a group with adjustments, a group with uh, the C4Ds that you add to your manipulation, a group with uh, the nature elements, or depending on what you're working on. 
So layers are just amazing. Um, in Photoshop CS6, you actually also have these uh, tiny icons here and uh, you can actually filter the uh, objects that you want to see. Like you can uh, filter the, rast the rasterized layers, you can filter the uh, adjustment layers, the text, and you can just uh, surf faster to search for these specific layers. But uh, I, I just don't ever use it because I always know where my layers are. Oh, and opacity. I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys about the opacity. Uh, if I click this uh, red layer here, I can actually change the opacity here. As you can see, there's a uh, left and right arrow that appears next to the uh, tiny hand icon. And if I click and drag, I can actually change the opacity of uh, this layer. Oh, and another thing. These layers are actually uh, mergeable. You can actually merge these layers. So if I click on uh, these three layers while holding control, I selected them, right? So now I right click and select merge layers. And now all the things that were on the layers are on one single layer. So I can just hide and hide. And as you can see, both of them disappear. And uh, you can change opacity and so on. And this is a fantastic, fantastic feature. Uh, another thing you can do here are uh, these uh, tiny icons here. What are these? With these you can lock this layer. You cannot do anything to these layers. As you can see I just got a message telling me that I cannot use the move tool because the layer is locked. Let's just unlock it. And uh, this is going to, uh, the lock position, this is going to do exactly what it uh, says. It's going to lock the position at, of the layer. I cannot, I cannot drag it left or right up and down anymore this brush here is going to lock the image pixels so you can actually move this but you cannot draw on it as you can see it gives me an error yet again and one of the most fantastic features is this one lock transparent pixels this is amazing for people that draw basically i just click it and uh, now i can change the color of uh, these uh, of this layer and anything that's in it to whatever i like so if you're coloring and uh, you have the line art and uh, under it you have a color layer, you can actually swap colors really easily. Right now I have the transparent pixels locked. I'm going to grab my um, a color, doesn't matter what, and I can just color over it as you can see. And both layers switch to this color. And the fantastic thing is it doesn't go out of bounds. So if I let me choose another color. And uh, this layer is not locked, right? So I, as you can see, I can make it bigger. But as soon as I lock the layers and I go to uh, another color, I can only color uh, the layer that I have selected, only the thing that's solid. And I can't go out, I can't draw here, as you can see, outside. So uh, this is very useful for people that draw. And I think we covered the uh, layers for now. There are various types of layers. There are adjustment layers, like you can uh, click here and select curves, and this is going to make a curved layer. And if you actually double click it, you can uh, change the uh, various adjustments. But we're gonna go that. We're gonna go to that tool uh, and gonna go more in depth uh, later. So I'm just going to delete that and uh, swap to our uh, move tool here. So the move tool is pretty straightforward. You just uh, click on a layer that you want and you can actually move it. Let me just unlock this. And uh, you can move it around. You select this one, move it around. Um, and the marquee tool now is a very fantastic and uh, useful tool. Let me just delete this group. We don't need it anymore. We're going to make a new layer and uh, we're going to grab our rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to select an area, right? And I'm going to grab my bucket tool and I can fill the, this area with any color that I select here. Click and there you have it. Uh, and to deselect you can just go to select, deselect or press control D on the keyboard. And uh, now you're going to have a rectangle, a rectangle in a uh, new layer which is fantastic. Uh, I really like this uh, elliptical marquee tool and uh, it's very fun to use. Let me just make a new layer. This is great for interface designers. So let me just select a, uh, let me just select an area and make a shape. So we got this egg shape here. I'm going to fill it with my uh, paint bucket tool uh, and I'm going to deselect it. And right now I can 
select this area again like this and uh, basically here we're going to add a shadow so we give it we select our brush tool let's choose the hardness to zero and uh, let's make it a bit more big and uh, if I go to black right now uh, with this area selected and just brush next to it as you can see it only brushes within the uh, circle within this uh, oval that I uh, made not circle and if I deselect right now as you can see it made this illusion that um, that this egg is actually uh, carved in uh, right here that there's actually two pieces of uh, this egg but it's just an illusion that I added by selecting an area with the uh, uh, the elliptical marquee tool and just going with a uh, soft black brush and just brushing and this is this is as I said amazing for uh, interface designers I mean look at that it looks fantastic it looks like a, a dragon scale this is great for adding shadows and stuff there are so many more things that I can cover but uh, let's just pass on to a few options that you have when you select an area and then you right click you can explore some of these yourself I'm uh, not going to uh, show all of them I'm just going to show you the important ones which is uh, for example the layer via cut like right now I have the egg selected right the egg layer if I choose layer via cut it's going to actually make a new layer with uh, the area that I selected from the uh, egg and another one is the stroke I can actually make a new layer I'm going to select an area right click and then stroke and you're going to get to this menu you can choose the width of your stroke I can make it a 9 you can choose the location it can go outside inside or from the center the mode and then the opacity etc the color and if you click OK it's going to make an outline of uh, the shape and you can actually move it around and uh, so on and last but not least we have the uh, fill option you select an area right click and then uh, fill and uh, you can choose whichever option uh, suits you here like I'm going to choose the color uh, I'm going to select red OK mode normal OK and it's going to fill this area with red like we selected so I think we basically covered the uh, most important things in uh, these uh, selections uh, there are uh, these two left single row marquee tool and single column marquee tool and man I'm telling you you're never going to use these uh, because you already have the rectangular marquee tool and uh, it works better than these two uh, together and uh, they're basically useless honestly uh, I don't know maybe someone will find a use for them but uh, to me I never use them for what I do and I don't think I ever will because I have these two here and okay I think that's all for today uh, I am going to upload part 3 I think uh, the day after tomorrow because uh, I have some stuff to do. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Wait for part three, and I will see you guys later. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and uh, do your stuff.